Okay, so as you know, I have the engine out because I'm going to do some work on it. But I'm still waiting for some tools that haven't arrived yet. So in the meanwhile, I will remove some things I'm not going to use. For example, I'm not going to use this CDI box anymore, so this will I will take this away. The start motor I will remove because I'm not going to use that. Uh, we're going to take out the carburetor housing because we're going to do some job on that. Uh, what more? Yeah, some small things, uh, dissembling things in this episode. So I'm going to start with uh, this CDI box. So I have to remove the cap and there. So that comes off easy. Uh, when we installed the DR177 kit on this motor, we also installed this uh, CDI box. It's a tuning box. Uh, it takes out the rev limiter so you can rev more. But uh, I have bought a Polini ignition system, so I will not have any use for this anymore, so I remove, will remove that. So that's easy. Now we're going to the starter. So the motor starter is fitted here with one, two, three nuts and also down here, so you have to remove this one. And the reason that I'm removing the motor starter is because here uh, normally when the carburetor is in place this will sit here, I'll show you, like that. And this is the mixture screw. It's very hard to reach this one and, and uh, adjust it when the motor starter is in the way. And also I don't need it because I have the kick, so that's why I removed this. And also I'll be losing some weight. out and the plan here is to I'm going to make a lid to put over here so it doesn't come in a lot of dirt and so on. so now we have the motor starter out the ignition CDI box off and uh, the corporate the carburetor is already out and I'm going to do some work here so I'll remove the carburetor housing also and that's easy you just have to remove this screw here and this is the oil pump that will come off like that. And there's the gasket. So then that's off. So very easy to do. Very easy to do that. Now we can continue with removing this and this. So here you have to take this off. Also, this screw here needs to come out. And then we get this off from the cylinder. And then we can continue with this one, this one and this one. Then we'll get this lid off.
I'm going to put in a Polini ignition system so I can remove this flywheel also. I have to remove this rubber cap like that. There are special tools for locking the flywheel, but I think figure this will work just as well. And it does so. To remove this flywheel, I bought this flywheel puller. I'll take this out. Like that. With this puller it comes out easily, like that. There you go. So now you know how to get flywheel off.